We all know the circle of life is animals eat animals, animals eat plants, and plants get nourished by the air and sunlight, and life goes on. Welcome to Nature's Plot Twist, where today we learn about the plants that eat animals. There are about 44 different carnivorous plants out there, but we'll keep it short and sweet with the most interesting ones. As expected, the usual suspects on this list are known to attract mostly small insects, but some of these carnivorous plants can garble up the occasional snail, lizard, and even a small mammal. So let's learn more about these outrageous plants and find out if there are any in the world that could eat up a human. Before we start, just want to remind everyone to like the video and go ahead and subscribe if you have not already now without further ado number 10 the cobra lily well you guessed it this rare plant is named after a cobra as it has the uncanny resemblance to a striking cobra found only in the cold water bogs of california and oregon is it truly poetic how this plant lures in its prey usually insects using its sweet nectar smell and once trapped the insects exhaust themselves trying to escape through one of the many see-through false exits this plant can grow up to four feet in height number nine the trigger plant or more scientifically known as the Stildilium, is a curious one on this list. There are no consensus on whether this plant is genuinely carnivorous or it is simply trying to protect itself from insects. In any case, as the name suggests, these plants are equipped with sticky hairs, and as soon as an insect gets within range, boom, the trigger mechanism traps the poor guy in his hairs and secretes a digestive enzyme that slowly liquefies the insect. Number 8. The Portuguese Sundew a flower-bearing plant that grows on the nutrient soils off the coast of Morocco, Portugal, and Spain. This sly one attracts insects with its sweet nectar. Once in contact, it traps its victims in a sticky substance and slowly digests it, so it lives to flower another day at the cost of a few insects. Number 7. Rorigula Native to South Africa, this plant uses an unusual mechanism to get its nutrition. It only attracts and traps insects. The rest of its job is left to its partner in crime, a bug species called Pamaridiridiuli, and yes, I most definitely butcher that name, sorry for that. The bug's job is to eat and excrete, and the excrement is where the plant gets its nutrients from. In my opinion, the plant and bug are in a seriously weird relationship, but somehow both are happy and have survived for millions and millions of years. Number six, butterwort. Named for its broad leaves that look like they are buttery coated, the butterwort is native to Eurasia, North America, South America, and Central America. It is one of the few plants here that doesn't trap its prey using its sweet, juicy nectar scent. Rather, its victims fall in for its secretion on its leaves that resemble water. One can always tell that a butterworth has had a good meal when you see the exoskeleton of its victim lying on its leaves, its insides dried out. Number five, corkscrew plant. Unlike the other plants on this list, the corkscrew plant does not take much care of insects. Rather, its main diet consists of protozoans and other microscopic animals that it attracts and eats using specialized leaves that grow underneath the soil. These underground leaves are thin, pale, and rooty, but also have more of a normal looking green leaves that sprout above ground and are used to photosynthesis using the light. Officially classified as herbs, corkscrew plants thrive throughout Africa's semi-aquatic environments and in Central and South America. Number 4. Moccasin Plant Originally discovered in Southwest Australia, the moccasin plant checks all the correct boxes for a meat-eating plant. It targets insects with its sweet scent and then lures them into a woolly bugger-shaped tanks, where the unlucky bug is gradually absorbed into the plant itself. Number 3. The Venus Flytrap I'm sure you guys hate flies just as much as I do, and if that's the case, we both need to get a Venus Flytrap in our house. This plant looks something like it would be straight out of a comic book with its eyelid-like traps. As soon as a fly or any other insect steps into the trap, it shuts down, trapping the prey inside, while it gets slowly digested and absorbed by the plant. Fun fact, in order to eliminate false alarms from falling leaves and pieces of debris, traps of this plant will only snap shut if an insect hits two separate inner hairs within 20 seconds. That is pure genius for a plant. Number 2. The Water Wheel Plant The Water Wheel Plant is an aquatic version of the Venus flytrap. Literally. It has no roots and it floats on the lake's surface and tempts bugs with its little traps. Just like its land cousin, with which the water wheel plant shares more than one common ancestor, plant traps will pop in as little as a hundredth of a second. That is very fast for a plant to move, especially considering most plants don't actually move at all. And now, the one you've all been waiting for, number one, the tropical pitcher plant. So we saved the best for last. This plant can easily be distinguished by its pitchers that can grow over a foot in height. It lures in not just insects, but small lizards, amphibians, and even small mammals using its sweet, sweet smell. Once the victim drops into the pitcher, it can take up to two months to fully digest it, depending on the size of the prey. There are around 150 different species of this plant spread around the Eastern Hemisphere, residing in Africa, Southeast Asia, and Australia. Frequently categorized as a monkey cup, some of these plant pitchers are used by monkeys as drinking cups. Now, that's all we have for the video today. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like and of course subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.